Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, I want to finish up some stuff that I've been working on so I can get it off my craft table. Okay? I can't use my puncher to punch through this. It's too thick. <laughs> and I want a big puncher. So I want, I'm want. i going to cut one of these out of junk mail. And we're going to use this to put the pink on. But first, I want to trace it on here. Right there. I'm just going to take a pencil. If you don't have a puncher, you can use a jar, a can, to find the size you want for a circle and then cut it out. Hey, beautiful beings. I'm going to go outside the line so I know it stays perfectly round. And this is burlap, as you can see. And then I'm going to take some Mod Bodge and glue this on here. Just trying to use my scraps up. I could do this all day. <laughs> I could make these all day, but I got to quit. I just got to make the ones that I had on the table that I didn't finish from the other video, our circle, our round circle punches and embellishments. And, and then I have the envelope pocket pockets we made. I need to finish them up. I have a small one. We're going to put that one together, but I wanted to put this flower on the small one, but it was too big. I thought it looked too big. So instead, we're going to put this one on the big one. Hey, beautiful things, that's what we're doing. I hope everyone is enjoying the nice weather. It's nice in Pennsylvania. I hope it's nice where you are. I was out in the yard earlier. I was pulling up weeds and old dead sticks and leaves around my newly blooming, coming up out of the earth plants. Just make sure you keep it round. You can check, go on the other side, check to make sure it's round and then trim off whatever you don't like that's pretty much done now I throw that away and then our scrap is getting smaller and smaller I'll have to think of something else later on in the air to do with this <laughs> alright so I'm going to just do this around the edges one more time just one more time beautiful beings and I think I'm going to because this flower is white in it. I'm going to go around the edges with white paint. Is it nice out where you're at, beautiful beings? In Pennsylvania, the sun is shining. We have blue skies. I'm just going to take a little bit of paint and go around the edges. That's it. Just enough to hide that white where they come together. Okay. I was out in the yard this morning. He mowed the grass and I went around and made sure he didn't run anything over that I had planted that came up from last year, my perennials. And then I was cutting down the dead part on the perennials because the new parts were starting to come up. I like to wait just so I know where they're at. good and I'm gonna set this aside to dry okay beautiful beings I don't think I need to go around this with paint I'm just gonna leave this the way it is right. I wanted to show you one of these that we made in the last video that's what I want that for okay but which one 
That looks huge on there, don't it? That's all right. And I did add, I added another button to these. So now they have three buttons. I just thought they need another button, so I put three on there, you know. I have three kids, so I like doing things in three. <laughs> but, did that look good there? I think I'm going to use this one. Use this for something else. But that's going to go in the middle. So we're going to glue that down. I even got my, my pansies are coming up. All my other flowers are coming up. You could even put like fabric behind that. Make it pop even more. I don't think, I don't, I know I don't have a big thing of fabric in here. Cause these are all little bits that were cut off that we used for the other. So let's put this side glue onto this until then. Because we got to put paint on this and then I can go look for that while this is drying. I didn't think about that <laughs> for that. All right, all I did was use this because, you know, in the last video, if you watched it, if you didn't, this is going to be a belly band. I put this on it like that. Okay, but I want this color because it matches, of course, the little circle. So I just put this on here. That, and then I start cutting and I want it lined up so I cut straight so it needs to be moved up. I didn't feel like getting a roar out or using my cutter because I wanted to show you. So hopefully that's pretty straight. It is. So we're going to take some white paint and go around this. After I just wash my fingers, beautiful things. And this was another piece of scrap. That's what it's all about, beautiful beings, using up our scraps. And then after this, we can move on to the simple part of putting down our stickers that I found for the other little circle punches and the big circle punches. Not getting enough paint on my finger. Uh oh, that was too much. That was a little too much, beautiful beings. I'm thinking I might, I should glue this on something because this paper doesn't seem very stiff. And I did glue those down on something else, so I'll probably glue this on something. But I should have done that before I went around it with paint, of course. So I'll probably have to go around it with paint again, but I'm going to put this aside to dry because I can't do it now. We'll smear the paint, obviously, <laughs> obviously beautiful beings. All right, let's put that there to dry. I'll wash my finger. I have these. Here's my sticker. I got them out of Revival of Learning. These are from Ally Express. <laughs> the store is Bob O'Hanes. Okay, that's where I got all these stickers out. Okay, and I already cut around them because there's white. Some are colored, some are not, but there's white. See that white? I cut that out. I don't like the white around them, but they're see-through. Except for the white, the white's not really see-through. And I started, as you can see, so you just goes quicker. There we go. Now I gotta cut that piece of white off and we're ready to go. I left a little piece of white just so I could peel it off nicely and quickly. I didn't get close enough. It's easier to cut it when it's on the sticker but then you can't find the thing to peel it off. I'm just gonna, I don't know if I want it going that way, we'll just have it going that way. I want it in the middle, right there. That one don't want to go down. 
down on this cork and it's a little wrinkly right there Let's see. yeah these aren't going down very good that one did finally you just go like that see if they're coming up and then take whatever glue I think a glue stick would work oh, see now it's more I don't think it likes that cork beautiful things There you go. Just flowers on a book. Pretty, pretty. And that one's coming up again. Kind of blue. Okay, so that one's done. Peel this one up. I started cutting it off. I can get that off now because I have plastic behind it to pull it off. So I'm going to cut it now. Oh, the thing came off. Actors cut. I'm going to put a little glue on here and then try to line up that piece that came off. I should have known better. Right there. down. I can't even see the wording. We forgot this piece. <laughs> this piece broke off because I forgot how fragile it was. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it just to make sure it stays down. And then do my best to line it up. On the thing, it's so tiny. Tiny. Oh, gotta move over there. Right there. Move it down a little bit. When I was growing up, sometimes they would show these. It's like when the producers make a movie, they have someone that says, pushes that down or says, cut or start or whatever. And there was numbers flashing on the screen. That's why I put it on here. Because that's what it reminded me of. It's kind of hard to see, but you can make out what it is. Now that you know what it is. Some people don't know what it is. But that's the thing they use. For action. Or cut. Or take five, take three. that one. See, you can see through them. I think that's why that one's not showing up, but that one is showing up nicely. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do this one. This is an old... Oh, that was a dish. I did I did the dishes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it scared you, sorry. Right. This is an old projector. Like when you, they videotape something. On the first, first videotape recorder, basically, but I don't remember projector. I don't remember what they're called. And I'm going to peel this off a little bit, and then I'm going to cut that white off. It just helps a lot. Leave a little bit of white somewhere, and then you can get it to go, and then just cut it off. Oh, scared. I thought the legs were going to come up. I'm going to stick this down. I'm not going to try to put glue on it because of those legs. Maybe that's not too far up. I think it is. I don't remember where I had it. And I'm going to start this leg. Right there. Right there. Right there. There we go. We got her. We got her and when they use these that the numbers would flash you know 
one, two, three, four, five, six, or they'd go backwards, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So there you go. And these are done. I'm not doing nothing more to them at all. Raleigh Flex. I don't know if that's the original name or not for these, but I'm not that old. <laughs> I just remember seeing them in like movies that my mom would watch that were black and white. And then some got colored, but that's how I knew what that was. <laughs> okay, your wings. All right, now I'm gonna put you back to one. Put you back up. Got these done. So now we got embellishments. Let me stick these. I kind of want to put something here, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna wait to figure that out when I put it on something. I don't know what I'm putting it on. These are for later. For when I decide when I want to use them. In what journal, what pocket file, whatever. Okay. Now I want to do this one. And I probably should zoom in. This one's going to be a pain. I think I want this over this. Like, I think I want it like that. Something like that. The flowers like... Even the flower in fact because you will see it kind of like that but it says pure concentrated extract of vanilla for flavoring ice cream custards jellies pastry John McKillop McKillop pharmacist Tanny Town Minnesota MD Okay, but I think I'm going to do that. So I basically thought I have them peeled at the same time. So I'm going to start peeling them, not doing it on camera. Yes, beautiful beans. I forgot to use. These are the ones that are see-through. And I forgot to leave a piece. You know. Just start it for me. And they do take a long time if you do not do that. <laughs> but I want this, like... I don't know, like right there, maybe. Yeah. Just gonna take that and stick it. Make sure it all fits nicely. Oh, I want it down more. And then if it don't stick, I'm just gonna take the glue and go around it. It's not gonna be straight. I think I want it right there. Get it. Now it's going to get wrinkled because I keep pulling and tugging it. But I did want the flowers wrapped around that. This is not as hard as it looks. It's just because I'm doing it on camera. Wow. <laughs> it makes it harder because you need to see and I need to see and... You know, that is wrinkled right there, and I don't want it wrinkled. Let's see. The flowers, I'm not worried, worried about it because, you know, they have dimensions in them. And it seems like it's going to stick down nicely. There's that one. I'm just going to leave it like that. And if I want, I could put a word here, but I don't know if I want to. Because you can read that. If I could find a flower that matches them later on, a tiny one, I'll probably put it here. I think I got, I don't think I got it out of this book. Or I could just take the flower. There's a little one. I don't even know which one. I, I think I got it out of one of these. The Mr. Paper. But I don't know which one. I'll look later. And then, like, maybe a flower there or something. All right, let's move on. I thought I had something with this. I think I might have. Everything's getting lost. Oh, I wanted to show you this. I put some of the tulip glitter in that in that flat in the flowers, and it just made it pop. Made it pop. I love it. I think it looks nice. Okay. Let's move on to this one. 
because I think I had, well, maybe I was going to put, uh, yeah, I was going to put washi tape with that, I believe. I don't know which washi tape. I have another, I have this washi tape too. Well, let's get this one over with. This sticker I put in here because it was cardstock and it's real fragile, but it was cardstock sticker paper. And it's been floating around just like those other flowers from the last video I showed you. So it's going down with this. This is from Crafter Square. And it's got all those flowers. I'll be using two of them. So we're just going to stick this somewhere here. But I want that with it because I thought I can use it up plus get rid of it going on here it's just the pieces things like that so this is going to go across the bottom so i'm going to use this glue that's why i love this glue it's expensive and i try to only use it for this sometimes i use it for others but i basically just use it for little things like this because it works perfectly in my die cuts when i cut them out and yes this is a die cut i forgot to tell you that Cut it out on that stick of paper. So this is like five years old, maybe. There's a thread, a piece of thread or something there. It's driving me nuts because I don't want it to show up. We're going to put that across like this. And now that thread came off good. knocking everything over and I'm going to do this and of course now there's a lot of things sticking to this this has been floating around my craft room a couple years never took the time to find something to put it on I seen it and I'm like I'm using it for this I'm just trying to figure out which way I want this flower Thick of that, like right there. So now we're going to take Elena's, and this is a 3D one. Okay, beautiful beans. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to cut this off. Voila. There we go. I don't know how I put one that had, I only had those two out, so I don't understand how that one wasn't opened. Sometimes I think there's a trickster in my house because <laughs> weird things go on and I don't know. <laughs> things get moved around, things disappear, and then they reappear. I don't know. You ever had that happen to you? Because <laughs> it happens a lot lately here. <laughs> but I wish it would stop. I can make things complicated as it is on my own. I don't need somebody helping me. Now I don't remember which way I was putting this. There. Now let's just put it there. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom one and push down. And there you go. That one's done. It's got little bees in the background flying around. Okay. Moving on, moving on, beautiful beings. Did that one. Let's figure out what we're doing with this one. I don't know if I want washi tape or fabric. I don't want these. We're going for the fabric. We're going for the fabric, beautiful beings. So let's get in the fabric. Again. Is this dry yet? Almost. I'm trying to find the smallest pieces. This is cute. Use that, maybe. I got another one. Plus, I got all the fray that's sticking to it. These will work, I think. We'll just use that. I'm not even going to question it. As long as I'm using them up doesn't bother me right this is gonna go right here I think so I'll probably put one here 
and one here. I'm gonna figure this out. Is that come out? Yes, it does. Figure this out before I glue it down. So I want it up a little bit from the edge. And hopefully this don't give me a problem. I think I told you where I got these in two videos back. I didn't write it on the back and I shoulda. But I think I put them away. If I come across them, I will show you. There we go. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the edges. Because these, you know how the corners are. They like to come up on things. That way you don't have to worry about it. Coming up. And put that right there. Just like that. Come on. It's not straight. Turn it right down just a little bit. There we go. I blew off my fingers. Which way we want these to go? Bangs. There's that one. This one says, is a coffee plant. Coffee tree. up of the picture. There we go. Got another one done. Moving right along, beautiful beings. Right, now I got this one. This is getting that base. And I want this runner to make it look like it's on the table. So I think, and this is big, let me see. These are from Dollar Tree. Raptor Square. <laughs> I loved it. I just love. So that's the runner is going to have to go all the way to the bottom. I don't know if this is going to be right. I don't think I got a word for this one. I did get a word for one of them, but I don't remember what it Oh, this one. This one. Just look at that. You see the glue in the background. And in the vase. <laughs> but it should disappear, hopefully. If it don't, then it don't. But I think I'm going to zoom you in for this one. This one, I should have zoomed you in for the other one. Not leave my spot. Forget my spot. This one, I want to show you. I glue it down. This is a die cut. The pot's a die cut, and all the flowers and leaves and that are die cut. And I stuck them in a the slit right there, and I glued them to the back. And you can get this these die cuts on Etsy. Or no, sorry. Why do I keep saying Etsy? On all Li Express. LI Express. That's where I got these. Just look up. Sign in to LI Express or you don't have to sign up and unless you're going to buy something. But just go there. Look up. Flower pots and flower die cuts. And then scroll down and you should show up. It should show up for you beautiful beings. I'm going to just put glue on this one. And I might glue the other ones down later. I'm not sure yet. But I am gluing the back one down. I just don't want them to rip over the ears, you know? I mean, they shouldn't, but I like to be safe. 
Did I put that over far enough? Yeah. And then Delight. This is a Tim Holtz word. I went around it with ink. Deoxide ink. Put that right there. And, of course, anybody see the fabric goes with it? It's like totally gone. See what I mean? <laughs> Things just, there it is. It's way over here. And I'm just going to put this little, I'll show you when I come up. When I bring it up to you, I'm just going to put this little tidbit of scrap fabric right above it to make it look like it's holding it. Okay, let me put it on the back of this. You can see everything, right? Yes. I'm just going to put that there to make it look like that's holding it. No, I gotta move it over because of the F. There you go. Delightful. <laughs> Delightful, beautiful beings. Isn't that cute? Alright, and if you wanted to, you could go over that with a gel pen. I haven't found one, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I'm trying to make this a fast video. Alright. Now let's see. This seems to be dry. Craft Square Dollar Tree again. Did I decide what I was going to put with that? That's the question. I don't know. I don't think I did. I wanted, I don't know, maybe something in the background. I showed you that. But I want to, and I showed you the buttons. I did this one. I did this one. I did the numbers. These don't show up very good, but they work for what I want them for. Did this one, put a sticker behind it. What else? What else? We gotta do this. Let's just try. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put with that. This one is going. This. Oh, I gotta glue something to this. Alright, let me do that before I forget. Let me get something. So I'm gonna glue this to this. I'm just gonna use Elena's. Sun's really shining, beautiful beings out there. I might go for another walk. I got up this morning and went for a morning walk, and it was chilly. I put on a white jacket that Paige gave me. Both of my daughters gave me a jacket. <laughs> Kara's is more heavier. I was using that in the wintertime to walk. It's nice. It's a black one. It's a furry black one. And Kara, or Paige is like a white and brown furry furry one with silk lining i want to sew some pockets in them though so if i go somewhere because i don't i don't really carry a purse at all all right we're gonna let that glue before i even try to cut it out and we're gonna go back to this yeah i don't carry a purse so shake and see yes I don't carry a purse, so I just like jackets that have lots of pockets in it. It has a pocket in the front. The one Kara gave me, the black one, it has two in the front, but I like the inside pocket. You know? For my money. And then Pages. I don't think Pages has any pockets. So I wanted to sew an inside pocket in them. I don't even know if I want it. Maybe a green, and there's no green. Hey, let's use up this one. Let's use that one up. These are all die cuts from Ally Express. <laughs> Every one of them. I bought these like three or four, I think four years ago. To be honest with you. 
I don't want brown. I want that green one. Because it'll come. I need to find a different one that matches. There's a white one. Well, it's got blue in it. I'm trying to get this one out. Because it's got green in the flower. And of course, it's going to be a hard time. All of them are sticking together. So we got green going on. I like that one. So we put one behind it, one beside it. Put these all back in here. But that's how I store them. And I try to use thicker cardstock that's colored. And sometimes for my scraps, I'll, you know. Oh, I like that one. Because we already got a green one. I don't know. I like that one. Come on down. Oh, I like that one too. I think that one matches better. Yeah, it does because it's got white and green just like the flower. Let me pull them all out. I like this one better because we already got that green one. There. Those little baggies. You can get these little baggies at Dollar Tree. And I think you can get bigger baggies too, but you have to get them out of the... And I don't think they sell. Some of them do. Some of them don't. You gotta get them out of the party supplies. Is this enough? I don't want to overdo it because I will. <laughs> if I don't watch. I want some down here. I'm trying to stay in the middle for you. So let's do one there. One coming up there. And one coming up there. Let's see. That works for me. So let's glue these down. I might even bring this one over more. I don't know. But we want the white one down first. And we're going to put the flower over to the right more. Just so we're covering the stem. Maybe I should put it this way. again because it's another 3d flower Make sure it sticks down and voila and I gotta wash my hands beautiful things my fingers love it and if you wanted to you could stick a word if you could find a word to fit there would have to be a small one okay I'll be back after I wash my hands Okay, beautiful beans cut that out and I'm putting this right on the inside where they connect because see that gap see that gap right there where I glued them so I'm just hiding it and paint okay beautiful beings this is dry a little belly band it's gonna go there and then I got a piece of fabric that kind of goes with the off-white and the aqua and the blue so I'm just gonna cut a circle around it okay. now I'm gonna move this because we're gonna fray it we're gonna fray it beautiful beings You can fray it as little or as much as you like. I'm going to see what it looks like. I think that's good. I think that's good. I think it's kind of off center. I don't know. Is that good there? I'm going to try for the middle, beautiful beings. <laughs> Try for the middle.
think I got it to the middle. That one's flipped over a little bit. I just wanted something there. I felt like it was missing something. Now if we can get this going the way we want it. And we're going to glue that right there. You can put lace if you want. I'm just using up a piece of scrap fabric. there bend it back a little bit and then I'm gonna do this part where I mark it so I know where to put the glue I think I want it about there Just right. We got this little belly band. When we one of our envelopes we finished up for in the corner, the left hand corner. We got another one that we finished up for the left hand bottom. And I'm gonna use the ones that are for the bees. I'm going to start putting them in the bee journals and then the rest I'll just save for the day that I'm going to use them. Okay beautiful beings, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you got ideas and inspiration. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.